everyone. I feel like I haven't uploaded a video in such a long time. It's been a few days, but um, I was on a regular schedule of uploading like every other day, so it's kind of weird for me right now, but I'm back today, and I'm going to do a mini nail polish haul. I bought a couple, well, several nail polishes recently, and I wanted to show them to you, but before I do that, I want to quickly announce the winner of my giveaway. Before I get into the winner, I want to just thank everyone who entered. Thank you so, so much. I truly appreciate it. I love you guys. Honestly, if I could give you guys each one thing, I would do it in a split second. So when I win the lottery, I will definitely do that. I will buy you that one thing you've always wanted and no second thoughts. I'll buy it for you. No problem. But right now we're just going to have to deal with having one winner. And other than that, I will announce the winner. The winner of my giveaway is... Congratulations! Thank you so much for entering. I will be messaging you on YouTube shortly. Um, thank you again everyone who entered. Don't be disappointed or discouraged. I actually recently got to a thousand subscribers last night, so I'm definitely going to be doing a giveaway. I just have to get the stuff. Like, I'm not prepared at all. I didn't know I would get a thousand already, but I'm going to buy the stuff and I should have a giveaway open at the end of this week. So, stick around and I can't wait to do that giveaway so you guys have another chance to win again thank you guys so much I wouldn't be here without you guys I love you so much and if you guys ever like want any like videos you guys want me to do just leave them down below I try my best at commenting back to everyone I just love you guys so much so congratulations to the winner thank you again for entering and let's get into this nail polish haul because we all love nail polish Okay, so I'll just start off with the two Sally Hansen nail polishes I got. The first one is the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure Nail Polish. It is in Peach of Cake, and it's this gorgeous, like, light peach color. It reminds me a lot of Hot as Hello, but it's a little bit softer. It's not, like, as bright. I really like it, and I love the um, Sally Hansen Complete salon manicure nail polishes they're really really nice and I got this at Walgreens it was $7.99 but I know at Target they're a lot cheaper so if you want to try these out go to Target but these are really nice a nice consistency they stay pretty long on your nails a lot longer than Essie I think um, so I got this one very pretty I think it's also really um, it's a really nice color for the spring season and then the other Sally Hansen um, nail polish I got was this really light pale pink color. Almost, It almost looks white. It's called Shell We Dance. And I thought this was perfect on days where I don't want to have something like err in your face. This is very like kind of naturally looking. So I got that one. And then, oh, I have one more Sally Hansen one, but it's a different line of nail polishes. It's this Sally Hansen Hard as Nails polish. I think they redid this. I think it looked a little bit different before. I got this at Walmart and they had like a huge stand of like a ton of colors but they reminded me a lot of the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear nail polishes so I had a lot of the colors so the one nail polish color that I don't have is white so I was like I'm gonna get the white one and I'll try it out um, I think it's really good nail polish so far I like the the wand or the applicator I think it's nice um, but I haven't tried it on my nails yet but we'll see but this is in hard to get but uh, yeah and these are fairly cheap I believe I'm not sure exactly how much they are but I'll link that down below or I'll just write it down below Okay, and then I have one Wet n Wild nail polish. Um, this is actually very similar to the Sally Hansen one, but this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last nail polish in Club Havana. This is a lot brighter and like kind of in your face than the Sally Hansen one. As you can see, it's darker and also like brighter, if that makes any sense. But I love the Wet n Wild nail polishes, the Mega Last ones. They last, oh my god, for weeks on your nails. No chipping, no wearing. Um, also, they are very, very inexpensive. They are $1.99. And really, you can't go wrong. I like it. I also love the applicator too. It's their Manicure Pro Brush. I really like it. It reminds me a lot of the Sally Hansen brush. So if you guys haven't tried these out, oh my god, go to Target, Walmart, wherever, like now, and try them. They're great. Okay, and then I have one Essie nail polish. This is part of their new spring line. 
It is called First Timer. It's this really nice, like, bright green color. I don't have a green like this. And I have a lot of greens, but not like this. This is really bright. Um, reminds me a lot of spring. It kind of matches my eyes. So I thought this would be good to get, and it's so pretty. Lastly, I have three hard candy nail polishes that I am in love with. They are my first hard candy nail polishes ever. So I went to Walmart with my sister last week and we saw these really cool nail polishes. They looked like Robin's eggs. And I actually have the blue one on my nails now. But um, this is just like a pastel blue with like small circular glitters. And then this is a pastel purple with the same like small um, circle glitters. And the purple one is called Pixie Pink, but it looks very purple. And then the blue one is Jelly Bean Blue. And these are so pretty. Um, I applied, what I did was on my nails right now, I put Lilacism on by Essie and then I put this on top. Honestly, you can use this nail polish by itself. You'll probably have to use about two coats, but you don't need to layer on um, a color before you use this, even though it's a glitter. It's really nice and opaque. It's thick and it's not like a bad thick consistency. It's a really nice consistency. I don't know. It's nice and thick, but not like ugh, gloopy, goopy thick. And um, I haven't used the purple one yet, but I really like this one too. It's so freaking pretty. They're $4 at Walmart. Not bad. I'm like obsessed with these hard candy nail polishes. And then I went back again like yesterday, I think. Yeah, yesterday. And I got um, Tinseltown by Hard Candy. And literally it's... Tinseltown in here and this um, obviously I mean I would put it over a color but you don't have to you can do about two coats of this and you'll just have like a really glittery tinselly nail but um, it's a really really nice nail polish it's really cool looking I haven't seen really anything like it um, and I don't have like a nail polish like this with like the tinselly looking glitter I only have like circular or like like big chunk glitter. This is really really nice. I thought it would be pretty. It's something that I don't have and I am like obsessed with hard candy nail polishes now so I definitely want to go back and get some more. Four dollars and they're really nice quality. That's gonna be it for this nail polish haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it even though I didn't have like a ton of stuff but thought you guys would enjoy it anyway. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Also subscribe if you like my videos and you want to see more. Other than that I hope everyone is having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Peace!